Bonjour et bienvenue à la semaine française. Oh, hello and welcome to French Week. I am very excited to have lots of fun activities for you this week. It is very sad that we're not able to be in France, but it's the safest place for us to be. And we are going to make crepes today. Crepes are French pancakes and they originated in the northwest of France in a place called Brittany. Maybe you could look that up on a map. And they are thin pancakes and they are enjoyed all over France, either as a snack or as a dessert. You might have heard of a popular dessert called crepes Suzette. And we are going to make some of our own today. The ingredients you're going to need are 140 grams of plain flour. You'll all have this delivered by the time you come to make it. And then 200 millilitres of milk, whole milk if possible, two eggs, and 25 grams of butter. You can substitute the flour for gluten-free flour and then to make it vegan, you can use oat milk or almond milk and then flax egg or aquafaba and margarine. Melt the butter in a saucepan on a low heat until it's completely melted. Then leave on the side to cool down. Our first job is to measure and sieve the flour into the bowl. I then made a well in the middle of the flour and cracked the eggs into the middle. Then you can start whisking. And if you start whisking your eggs gradually, the flour will begin to incorporate into your mixture. After you've measured out your 200 millilitres of milk, we're going to gradually add it to the centre. So we're going to add a bit, whisk and then keep going and eventually all the flour will be combined. And then keep whisking until there are no lumps. By using the well in the middle, it should mean that because you're adding the milk and the flour gradually to the mixture, that you end up with no lumps in your mixture. After your butter is cool, add it to your mixture and whisk it all together. So if you would like to, at this stage, you can add some flavouring actually into the mixture. So maybe some lemon zest, some orange zest, whatever you would like, or you can just keep them plain. Our mixture is now ready to be covered and to go in the fridge for at least an hour, but if possible, overnight. Put your batter into the fridge and then this is your chance to tidy up. So I have left my batter in the fridge for a couple of hours, or enough time to do my workout and have a shower, and now we are ready to cook the crepe. Before we actually cook the crepes, I'm just going to prep our toppings and get them all out so we are ready to go. So I've just cut up some lemons and then got some other toppings as well, but you top it with whatever you would like. So I've taken my batter out of the fridge, I've just whisked it around and I can feel that it's nice and thick and smooth. Melt a tiny bit of butter on a medium heat and then just wipe around the pan, be really careful because it is hot, so it's literally just enough to coat the pan. Pour a ladle full of batter into the middle of your pan and then twist it so the batter goes all the way around the edge. So after you've poured your batter in and you've made it go all the way around and cooked it for two minutes, just check around the edge. It's ready to be flipped over. If you're confident, you can go straight for flipping it straight away or you can use your spatula to turn it over. You could then have a go, if you can wobble it like this, at flipping it over. And your crepe is ready to add your toppings. And then keep repeating the process until you've used all of your batter. Ms. Kaiser's having her toppings. Adam's doing his toppings. You can cook them and put them in like one big pile and then you could all eat together and go and get your toppings or you could just cook and have whoever's in your family come up and get them themselves.
I hope you enjoy being able to make your crepes. Please send me pictures of you making them and I hope you and your family were able to enjoy them. I look forward to seeing what toppings you had and I will see you soon.